So we all have those days where we wake up and one day we're just really bored and we go, well, what should we do? So for me, that ends up, the answer to that is let's go to North Wales. So welcome to Chester. There's a few Arriva buses, there's one over there, there's a few behind. And we're gonna be jumping on hopefully one of them to make our way into North Wales for this video where we are going to take a little look at the North Wales network. It's not gonna be sort of an extensive look because obviously with times and things, it does mean that you can't sort of transfer too much in the North Wales region. But we've got a couple of hours. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head into North Wales, hopefully make it over to the seaside as well and have a little assessment of what goes on in the region using the brand new one bus ticket that allows you travel on all of the bus services, apart from National Express, apart from city sightseeing in North Wales. So it's quite exciting, only £5.70. So we're gonna head into the bus station now and jump on our first bus that will hopefully take us straight into North Wales as Chester is in that far away. So see you all when our first bus arrives. So our first bus of the day is 4643 on the Tenair route. So this one has a lovely sapphire interior and I believe it has plusher seats upstairs but because we're not on this bus for long we'll sit downstairs on this one. Thank you. Bye. So we are just jumped off the bus. We are now in Wales as well. We've just jumped off the 10A and we're about to wait for the 11 bus over to Hollyhead. So our next bus is 4484 on the 11 to Hollywell. So this is a VDL bus. It should be a nice little treat um, for the next stint of today. Hello, you all right? Thank you. Here we are now in Hollywell. We've got to wait here hopefully for our next connection of the day. So our next connection has just come in. It's YG8PHZ on the 18th. So a lovely Opta solo. So we're now in P and O Lloyd territory. It's one of the many independents in the North Wales region. This is a lovely YG08 solo, 08 2008 vehicle plate. Solo with lovely, lovely seat maquette on it. So it does take a similar route to the 11 that has now turned into the 11M for the final for the final stint of Tyreal. However, what we're doing is we're taking the 18 that doesn't run as often, runs a couple of times a day, but it takes a slightly longer route and hopefully is a little bit more scenic.
thank you. So here we are in Prestatin. Now we just come off YG8PHZ. So that was a P and a Lloyd bus. At the moment, unless plans slightly change, it's going to be the only non Arriva bus we get today due to the connections and things. Lovely nice operator, lovely nice and, and well presented bus as well. The 18 has a weird sort of frequency. There's only two duties or two workings a day that do the full end to end route. That was one of them. So that continues on to real. We are going to be getting another connection there though and making most of our tickets. We've got five minutes until our 36 real sort of time town circular service that will take us right onto the seafront. So although there was no information on the bus stop about it, here is our next bus, 2521 I could get. Hello. Thank you. So this is a lovely well presented interior and a lovely treat as I haven't been on a right cadet in quite a while now. Loving the rear seating as well. It's always an issue with these back facing seats or facing forward seats that there's very little leg room on the back seat from the sort of far family bundle seating as well. So I've got this round to real beach. Thank you. Yeah. So we are now in real yeah. by the railway station and bus station. So we're making our way back now and as you will recognise this is not the bus station that we started, it's not real bus station, um, it's the beachfront bus station. So there's four bus stands here and we're going to get the 35 and a, that's an Optair Solo, we're going to get that on a short stint to make our way to the next bus station, basically um, Prestastin, um, I haven't pronounced that correctly, but basically straight along the A548 over to that bus station to connect with the 11M back round to Chester. So our next bus is an Opto Solo in the form of 673 and Eva Wales Opto Solo vehicles. So it's sharing on the 35-36 town circular runs. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. So that was CX58 EUA numbered 673 within the Arriva Wales fleet, Arriva operating in the north part of Wales. The vehicle itself has a very, very similar specification to the old free city buses that used to run in West Yorkshire by Metro or on contract to Metro or in places like Bradford, Jews, Blue Wakefield and Leeds. So very, very similar specification. It was nice to be back on one of them. And again, like a few of the other buses we've been on, it is a slim line. So we've got an E400 for the next step. That is 4550, one of the CX14s, one of the ones with the comfort seats upstairs. So we'll sit downstairs for the first little bit and then we're going to go upstairs and sample what I've been told are some of the comfiest seats on the buses in the UK and probably just the comfiest seats on buses in Wales, hopefully.
So people weren't lying when they said that the Arrival Wales Sapphire buses had very comfy seats. Just look at these. Possibly the most comfy seats I've seen on an Arriva Wales vehicle um, or an Arriva vehicle generally. These seats are standard with Sapphire brands in the Arriva DB network. Something unique to the Wales branch. Thank you. So we just stopped off at P&O Lloyd that is just behind us, that bus depot. And um, they run buses and coaches. It was quite empty as the time that we've gone. It's sort of school out period. So a lot of their vehicles were out. However, it is quite a small site. They've got a lovely bus garage as well. It looks like an old one. So it looks like it certainly has a bit of history behind it. And primarily Solos, an E200 and a coach in at the moment. Although I do know that they have two ALX 400 Tridents, as I saw them earlier when we passed on our way to Real. So, a lovely selection of buses for sm a quite small operator. We've been on one of their buses as well on the 18, so they have a nice company, nice operator, and hopefully at some point I'll return and visit again to see the Trident ALX 400s that they have. So what we're doing now is we're heading back over to the bus stop we've got about. So there's a 28 minute gap at this point between the 11s as the 11M that we jumped on at Real has now changed into an 11 and all the buses that run sort of from, from the halfway point, that's where we are now, over to Chester or run as 11s and then when they sort of split over the other side they turn into 11Cs or 11Ms. So we've got an 11 back. Hopefully, not long now, probably about 10-15 minutes to make our way, continue con continue our way, should I say, back over to Chester. So something I just wanted to point out of something I've seen over sort of the multiple bus stops, bus shelters I've travelled on around um, North Wales so far, is the lack of of bus information so let's take this bus shelter for example there's no flag on the shelter and in the shelter itself there's no information there's no information boards either there's no opportunity to put information in and it is something that i found a little bit odd it's like the places that we've had information some services were missing or it wasn't clear what like bus stop numbers were and then some stuff didn't match up to bus times at all because obviously bus times at all have gone by the information that the companies have provided and some of that was incorrect as well and it's something i've sort of noticed through north wales and could be a factor as to why not many people travel up here and why not many people use the bus services as potentially could do in this region so our next bus is 4549 um, on a number 11 run Hello Thank you Thank you So here we are at the other side of we weren't on the C400 for long, the E400 being 4549. So that's going back as an 11 to Chester. However, we're going to wait for the 10A that's only a few minutes behind that goes all the way back to Chester as well, but takes a slightly quicker route. So we'll actually get there hopefully if everything stays on time 10 minutes before that does. So it's worth jumping off and waiting for. So here is our bus for the way back. It is 46. Three, eight, that will take us all the way back to Chester Bus Interchange. Hello. Thank you.
thank you. So here we are back in Chester bus interchange and that was the bus that we just had 4638 so I'll pass you now to me in the office for to sum up of today's video. For the conclusions and the tickets I used for this trip was the brand new one bus day ticket available on board um, the buses from the driver for £5.70 that is valid on all operators and all bus services except sightseeing runs and sort of National Express operations within North Wales. Now there were positives of the bus network that we noticed, there were, um, buses were very reliable with plenty of seats. The seats themselves were relatively comfy, especially the Arriba Sapphire networks, ideal for longer distance runs. Especially saying that the route like the 11 and the 11M into work and you can be on that bus for about two and a half hours if you are going from end to end. However, we did also notice some negatives on the trip out and the main one was the lack of timetable and fare information, sort of at bus shelters and at main terminal points. Noted with a lot of the bus shelters and bus stops that we waited at was the lack of any timetable information. There was no information stating what buses stopped there. In some cases, the timetable flags had gone missing. And in most cases where the timetable information would be, there was no plastic covering and there was nothing um, in the sort of timetable bit either. There was no piece of paper telling you about the bus times, telling you when buses operate. There was a bit of a shame as someone that it was their first time up travelling in that region um, that did mean I would have to be heavily reliant on bustimes.org. Luckily, the buses were on time. Another thing as well is at the main terminal points, it was also noted that there wasn't any information either. I mean, the only ones that we noticed at real um, were the sort of timetable, was the information boards. However, they didn't post any specific timetable information and merely just promoted the Reaver North Wales key corridor bus routes. That, as I say, if you don't know what times they are running, it will put you off a little bit. But that all aside, the adventure around North Wales was really good. The bargain £5.70 ticket means that you can explore the entire region for the day. That's what we did. Um, and I do actively um, promote you to do that, especially with the new one bus ticket being a relatively new addition to the region and unlocking a few doors on, on sort of using multi-operator, um, sort of multi-operators in your day out. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Do be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you have. And I will see you all in the next one I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.